When you think about birds of prey, the first one that comes to mind is more than likely the bald eagle. Obviously, this creature is an apex predator, capable of taking down prey multiple times larger than itself, ranging from woodland creatures to farm animals. On top of being a top-tier carnivore that hunts its prey with ease, it also hunts for freedom. For America, using its eagle speed and skateboarding skills to take down enemies such as Talking Babies and Pinocchio. But what does this have to do with you? Well, let me ask you this. When was the last time you even encountered an eagle? Most of you probably don't live in Florida or in a nest somewhere in the woods. You probably didn't even know eagles existed until you clicked on this video. Unless you're victim weight and have the bone structure of a sheep, you'd never be considered prey in this bird's mind. But what if I told you there's birds out there that are way more intimidating and fear-inducing than these wannabes? This video will be broken down into two sections, flightless birds and regular flighted birds. Both of these categories will be ranked and rated based on the damage they could inflict on mankind. Starting off in a strong position, we have the common seagull. Now, you might immediately be thinking I'm a moron who wakes up in the morning and puts his pants on his head for this one, but just hear me out for a minute. Have you ever been to the beach or a grocery store parking lot? Then you'll know this animal's a pack animal, and it's intelligent. I'm sure you've all seen the videos of these shithawks swooping in like a kamikaze pilot trying to steal an innocent bystander's hot dog. They're fucking relentless. These bastards take what they can get, and it's with any force necessary. Not only do they eat the food you spend your hard-earned money on, they also just eat literal fucking garbage all the time. They may as well be classified as a biological weapon. They just shit pure acid and they carry a multitude of bacteria and disease. 90% of seagull feces contains enterococcus, which causes antibiotic resistant infections. This ends up contaminating food and water supplies in areas that have large seagull authority. These birds are known to be extremely protective of their homes, even if they're squatters who end up building their home on top of your home. There is no logic within a bird's brain. Do not try to understand them. The one and only report of seagulls killing a human in cold blood is the sad story of an 80-year-old man named Wilfred Roby. This gentleman from North Wales was getting tired of these bastards roosting on his roof, shitting all over the place, taunting him. He was standing on a two-foot-high garden wall poking at the little tiny baby birds in hopes to shoo them away. But the only thing that was shooed away was Wilfred's life. Mama and Papa Bird returned swiftly, striking Wilfred with every fiber of their being, causing him to fall 24 inches to the ground, which at 80 years old is like falling off the Burj Khalifa. They say it was a heart attack that took him but we all know the real answer. This is easily an A-tier bird. I want you to know this next bird is biased. I have a personal vendetta when it comes to pigeons. I hate this bird with a fiery passion. If I had to make a choice between making pigeons extinct or completing No Nut November, I would eradicate this mistake in a picosecond. The pigeon is by far one of the worst updates Earth has ever received. Oh, but they're so smart. They carry letters across state lines. They understand space and time. Do I care? Am I supposed to be impressed? You want to know what's impressive? Controlling your bowel movements until you're away from my car. You want to know what would be really awesome? If every time I used the bathroom, I didn't have to hear a plaintive coo from the depths of my vent fan. I am not capable of getting you out of there. I don't know how you got in there in the first place. Just let me defecate in peace. The psychological damage this beast inflicts upon mankind is more than one can imagine. One time I was walking home from the convenience store with a loaf of bread and I got stepped to by one of these little pricks. I had to yell at him to back off, and he just kept bumming me the entire walk home. When I finally got inside, I slammed the door in his face, and I heard him mutter the words, Anger makes you smaller, while forgiveness forces you to grow beyond what you were. And that was the first and last time I ever got high. The pigeon is barely capable of inflicting physical pain, but at the same time, it's made me incapable of seeing the good in the world. S+. Plus. Personally, I believe this next bird is one of the ones you should worry about the most. Let's break down some numbers. There's 8 billion or so people on this earth, and it's safe to assume 50% of that is infants and geriatrics, and another 25% of that is physically incapable. So that only leaves you with about 2 billion ready and able people. Sounds like a lot, right? Well, when the chickens take over, you're going to wish you had a lot more than that. As of 2020, there were over 20 billion chickens worldwide. That's not even the craziest part. As a planet, we lay waste to over 60 billion poultry chickens annually. That doesn't even include egg chickens, milk chickens, or other working class chicken citizens. It's only a matter of time until the planets align and these chickens gain unprecedented levels of power. The only thing holding them back is a few evolutionary traits they missed out on, like speech, opposable thumbs, and weaponry advancement. At the rate they're being killed, it's almost certain that within the next few trillion chickens, one of them is going to be birthed into a super soldier, capable of leading the chicken army to freedom and salvation, breaking the cycle of slavery. Maybe when that day comes, we'll finally understand what the vegans were fighting for. Maybe they were right all along. For now, this bird's in B tier. We've all seen a dumbass post or two on Reddit, asking you silly fucking questions like, If you're unarmed, how many geese do you think you could successfully kill before they put you out of your misery? As we all know, the average Reddit user is usually a willing and capable person, definitely carrying a lot of mass and even larger ego. As his Cheeto-dusted fingers strike the keyboard, 
These are the words he puts down. I could take on at least 150. (sighs) Easily. And your question is extremely vague. Are they coming at me all at once, or is it an honor system where I fight them (sighs) one-on-one? Allow me to tell you why you're wrong, milady. In the entire history of Canadian geese, tens of people have died from them. Okay, that last part was a purebred lie, and I'm sorry, but they're still really scary. These birds are some of the toughest motherfuckers to step foot on Earth. If you think you're putting up any kind of fight unarmed versus these able-bodied draft wannabes, you're mistaken. Any person that's hunted these animals before will tell you they're able to take some firepower. The only real way to kill a Canadian goose is to firmly grasp its phallic throat and give it a good old-fashioned meat spin. You know what I'm saying? Me picking up what I'm throwing down? They have one real weakness, and that's food of any kind. If you're ever in a goose-heavy area, just make sure you have a loaf of bread or some corn or whatever, and you're going to be A-OK. This is a C-tier bird. Still capable of some destruction, though. We'll be moving on to flightless birds now. First up, we have what is considered the deadliest bird towards humans in the whole world. Their reign of terror is located in none other than, you guessed it, Australia. Why would they ever be located somewhere else but the place with six-foot-wide spiders and dinosaurs that survived the meteor? This motherfucker has a constant bloodlust buff when it comes to humans. They don't even have to be mad to attack you. They just run up on your property and taunt you until you get pissed off. And you better pray you have an RPG handy because hand-to-hand combat will not work. This 6 foot tall, 150 pound reptile adjacent monster has 4 inch katanas on each toe. And they're ready to sever your carotid artery with one fell swoop. I recently watched a video featuring none other than Coyote Peterson and a cassowary facing off in an apple eating contest. This bird sucked the soul out of that apple, bro. It just disappeared down its esophagus. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that's a terrible example of strength in the cassowary because I'm pretty sure they drugged it or it was mentally deficient. But if they didn't drug it, I doubt you'd be seeing any more of Coyote Peterson's Brave Wilderness videos. This bird's S plus due to physical prowess. The other flightless birds such as the ostrich, rhea, and less likely kiwi are all rather similar in threat, except for one. And that's the emu. This bird has already put our sorry race through its paces. It happened back in 1932. A group of some odd 20,000 decided to migrate inward from the coast to some nice cozy Australian farmland. The emus made pretty quick work of crops that these farmers worked tirelessly to grow. The farmers got angry, obviously, and reached out to the government hoping to gain any form of help that they could. This reached the Minister of Defense, Sir George Pearce, who was known for his effective defenses against the real Australian terror, wildlife. Pearce sent a group of soldiers equipped to the nines with machine guns to where the emus resided in attempts to ambush them. They sent out a few rounds, but it was ineffective because in the 30s, guns obviously were not as efficient at killing animals. They got closer and sent out a few more rounds, slaying mm, maybe a dozen birds before retreating. Nice. Days go on and the emu's reign of terror continues, but on November 4th the soldiers were ready. Another ambush was planned, this time on over a thousand birds. They waited until the birds were point blank range, but after only a few fallen emus, the guns jammed and the emus scattered. This whole process kind of just repeated itself several more times and in the end, the emus won the numbers game, convincingly. Humans stood no chance, and that was with heavy artillery. A tier bird. The last and most powerful bird on this list is in a tier all on their own. If your parents let you watch television, then you might remember them from your childhood years. They grew up right alongside you, seeing every step along the way, taking in every detail they possibly can, retaining valuable information about your life, your fears, your weaknesses, your kryptonite. This is none other than Big Bird. This absolute galactic phenom comes in at a whopping 8 foot 2 inches of pure unhinged development. With its eerily human-like proportions and sun-colored skin, if you got locked in a room with this freak of nature, I can assure you he's coming out on top. Here's some food for thought that might keep you up at night. Does the fact that he isn't called Biggest Bird mean that somewhere in the shadows there's an even more monstrous being lurking, waiting to strike? Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe for more content.